this is Stacy with Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. I uh, wanted to jump on here and if you can't tell, I'm in my car. So I have big news, I can drive again. I wanted to give a quick update about my health. Um, I'm not sure, I have to go back and look and see what the last thing I uh, updated people on, but where I stand is they've just about run every test that they can think of. Um, my heart monitor showed that I wore for 30 days showed no problems. My echocardiogram was clear. My nuclear PET scan was clear. Yesterday I had a table tilt test which showed no problems. But in the meantime I have blacked out again after I finished the heart monitor. And after my husband told me I could take my bike helmet off, I passed out the very next day. So when I told the cardiologist about that at the table tilt test, he was not very pleased and he sent me into um, an outpatient surgical cubicle and they inserted a long-term uh, heart monitor, not a pacemaker, not a defibrillator, but a long-term implantable. It's a little device about the size of a flat AA battery that they put in my chest. So I had a little surgical procedure yesterday. I'm still recovering from that and I'll get the bandages off and the sutures out next week and then we will take it from there. In the meantime, they have tried to label this something they call uh, vasovagal syncope, which I'm learning a lot of cool medical terms. Syncope is the medical name for passing out or fainting or blacking out. If you Google vasovagal, it says that's what they call people that faint at the sight of blood, which is not me, it's not my case, but I think they're not real sure what it is. And they've told me, um, they've given me marching orders to do three things. Since I jump up and it happens, they've said, don't jump up. So they want me to be mindful and get up really slow. Um, the second thing I'm struggling with is they told me to eat more salt. And I'm not really wanting to get high blood pressure and I've just tried to be real real healthy with, with food and I'm not real thrilled about adding a lot of salt back into my diet. And the third, I'm, the third thing they gave me as a marching order, I'm not real thrilled about either. They said to wear compression stockings and I'm not real thrilled about those. They're okay in the winter but come summer when it's hot and I'll be wanting to wear shorts and sandals all the time I'm really not wanting to wear compression stockings. So that is the the update where I stand. I'm hoping that most of the tests are over with. At some point they'll have to go back in and, and remove this device from my chest. The documentation I was reading yesterday said that this device works two to three years so I don't know if this is going to be several months or a year or two or three years this thing is implanted in my chest monitoring me. I will have a little device that has to stay by my bed where it uploads uh, every night. We have to take it with us if we travel overnight so I might show you that sometime in another vlog. In the meantime I'm driving. The doctor after he implanted the device said he thought since I was just having the the syncope when I stood up I'd probably be okay to drive and it had been eight weeks 56 days so I was more than ready to drive and I'm happy to be out. I'm fixing to run to Sam's Club and so this will be a health update and a quick Sam's Club haul. So hang on. Back from Sam's. I got I think nine items. Didn't have a whole lot on my list. Didn't deviate too bad. I'll have to do the math. It was time to renew our yearly membership. It was somewhere under $100 by the time we finished. So real quick my little Sam's Club haul is. Milk is on every single Sam's Club haul we go to. There was an instant rebate on the black beans and we eat a lot of them so I bought another case. This item was new. I was glad to see the little uh, meatless crumbles from Morningstar and I also got instead of the individually uh, sectioned chicken, these are little individual packs. can't get my words out. So some hormone free Forester Farmers Market Chicken, some oatmeal, some lotion, shaving gel for both Tim and I, and some Crest Pro Health Rinse. That is a very quick Sam's Club haul, and that will wrap up this quick health update and haul video. I hope everybody is having a very blessed day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed day, y'all. Bye.